Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Many are worried about how they will carry out the solidarity procedure. I won't go into much detail on this subject, but I would say to you just this, put love in your hearts and let the walk be presented. Set the intention in the universe to really help those who need it most. Ask the universe, universe, bring me, show me, show me those I need to help, those who are most in need. I am open to receiving your recommendations. And let time pass, without worry, without anxiety. Throw this out to the universe at all times, your desire to find the one who needs it most, so that you can really help. And you will find the right path, you will find those who really need it, those who are truly in poverty, in need of a plate of food, in need of a roof over their heads. Put your intentions to the universe, and you will receive the answer. It is enough that this intention has all the love in the world, without judgment and without criticism. Come whoever has to come. Good. Continuing our classes. Many are very interested in the topics I have discussed here, and that is very good. Very good. Today I'm going to talk a little about that supposed balance that I said existed between good and evil, but despite all this your planet descended into the third dimension. So there is a need for a deeper explanation about this. Why your planet descended from dimension? How does this happen? It is worth remembering that the planet resonates with the feelings of those on its surface, or rather, with those who inhabit the planet, no matter where. Very good. So I told you that the planet was inhabited by evolved people, by evolved beings, who came from various parts of the world, from the universe, with advanced technologies, with lots of interesting things. And here arrived those who today, we call dark, the Draconians, the Reptilians, the Archons, and many others. Those who were already here did not realize that there was a great threat, because everything they brought, in the beginning, was to make the planet evolve more and more. They brought very high technologies, everything that prepared the planet to take a leap forward. So you, who were good beings, got excited and didn't notice the trap, because they were very intelligent. They did not allow those low vibrational energies of theirs to come out, they dressed up in a shell so powerful that it hid it all. Only those older, wiser beings knew that something was wrong there, that they couldn't identify what it was, but there was something wrong there, but they were not heard, because everyone had that memory, that one day in the past, they listened to the great magicians, the great sages, and they all ended up being banished, because power, greed, has risen to everyone's mind. So the younger ones chose not to listen to the great masters, they thought they were trying once again to do something wrong. Very good. But within those very advanced technologies, there were traps, and when you inhabitants of good realized it, you were already in the middle of it. And then everything started to happen. Fear was being spread across the planet, the attacks were very strong. So the good beings who were here resisted as much as possible. Their technologies were no match for the technologies that had arrived, they were much more advanced. It is worth mentioning here that these beings prepared themselves for a long time, with the most advanced technologies in the universe. But many were used for good, they were using them for evil. So, as I said here, nothing happened overnight. Nothing happened from one year to the next. It was for a long time. And they began to manipulate the environment in such a way that everything became contaminated. There was nothing pure left on the planet to be consumed. Everything was under their control. So manipulation became much easier. But as I already said here, the strength of love, the strength of good, is greater than anything. So many good beings who were already here, despite being attacked, managed to remain intact, they managed to stay balanced, forming great resistance. They began to grow their own food, so that nothing would be contaminated anymore. 
it's as if they were small islands on the planet, totally isolated from each other, surviving within the feelings of love and light. And those other beings dominating the rest of the planet. The final trick of these beings was the shielding they created around Gaia. If you stop to think about it, it wasn't armor created overnight. This was being built by themselves. So it took a long time to get ready. But as this shield continued to be built, the planet began to maintain low vibrational energies within this shield. There was no longer any exchange with the universe, because when the planet is free, as you are now, the energies arrive, high frequency energies always arrive, and manage to eliminate a good part of low vibration energies. So they knew it, that the only way to make the planet descend from dimension was to create this shield, so that no high vibration energy could reach the inhabitants. Very good. So it was like that for thousands and thousands of years. This shield was built in all the energy from the central sun, which never stopped arriving here, it always arrived, it hit this shield and returned. And with this, the planet's energy became dense and obscure, because there was no longer an exchange for high vibration energies. So by law, the planet has the dimension of what its inhabitants resonate with. And then the Earth began to resonate in the third dimension. A lot has happened. Gaia did not accept this, calmly, weakly, let's say, with conformity. No, Gaia rebelled. Gaia certainly rebelled, but it didn't do much good, because the shielding was very strong. So there's the reason why her planet descended from dimension. The frequency that Gaia began to vibrate on its surface was third, although Gaia still remained high. In all these times, Gaia has never resonated in Tercera, Gaia as a planet. As a structure, planet and inhabitants, yes, you were and are resonating, still in Tercera. But this will now end. Why? Firstly because the shielding was removed, all the energies of the central sun reach the planet now, and transmute everything that is bad, everything that is darkness. And you are entering the photon belt, you are already walking within it, going ever closer to its apex. So there is no longer any way for these energies to stay here. So all this time, as I said, the planet became a school planet, a third dimension planet, but no, we never abandoned whoever was here. Those evolved beings of light have always been here. Contact with us was practically broken, but there was always one soul or another who would not allow themselves to be manipulated, who did not allow himself to be involved in the environment, because what has been done over all these times. As I said, everything you feed, everything you eat, everything you drink, has manipulation, because it is your way of being controlled. However, there are people who choose to have a life in nature, who feed exclusively on what Gaia gives them does not put poisons in what he eats, drinks water from the spring. So they are people who have remained free from all this domination, and these people are not few. I would tell you that it is nothing to count on your fingers, there are many, and they have been prepared over time to play precisely this role, of balancing good and evil. That's what I told you, despite all this dominance, despite them manipulating the environment, despite them manipulating what you eat, what you drink, the good is still there. You are not an evil race, if you were you would have self-destructed a long time ago. No, the clash continues, day after day, between good and evil. So, those souls coming from those beings of light, continue there, firm and strong, walking the path of good. Of course, many times these souls also succumbed. There were so many adversities that they ended up succumbing, time and time again, to the wrong path, but they ended up returning, because that was not inherent to their way of being, to their true lineage, as they were all evolved souls. Even those who were born here, who did not come from outside, the vast majority of you who were born here, were born in the fifth dimension, then you were demoted, but your souls are evolved souls. For some time now, Souls have begun to be born here on the planet, completely born in the third dimension. 
It's like I said, this planet has become a school planet. So it wasn't the Dark Ones who placed or created souls here. Here came the souls that needed to live in the third dimension, to evolve. Souls from many planets came here, banished from other planets, in soul form, not in physical form. They came as souls, to resound all the evil that was already resounding in their respective places, and they came here. The souls that were born here were souls, as I already said, created by our father or mother God, in which he chose for them to be generated here and begin the path of evolution on this planet, even on Tercera. So I'm going to stop here, so you can stop for a moment and think. Why do so many people vibrate the third dimension so well? Why do so many people not accept everything that is happening? Could they be the souls born here in Tercera, who have never known higher dimensions, and who are being given, now, at this moment, the opportunity to evolve, and the decision of whether or not to evolve? Think about it. Who are you who are here now, listening to me, and resonating with everything I say? Are they third-dimensional souls or are they evolved souls that have already come there from other times, and that know exactly that they are walking to live what they once lived? And who are these light workers who have so much voice on the planet, who are able to attract so many people with their words, with their teachings? Could it be the great sages who lived at that time, who had this ability to bring people together? So I would like you to think about it. Whoever is resonating with this whole process, who is in that moment of believing without seeing, why do they believe without seeing? Or does your soul already see it deep down? Deep down, the soul knows what's on the other side, where this feeling comes from, this confidence, this strength, of believing in what you don't see. Where does it come from? It would be because your soul is happy, resonating loudly, vibrantly, because it is seeing the moment of returning to what it once was. Think about it. Analyze where each of you fits into this process. Yes, you came here, many of you came here, because you resonated with low vibrational feelings where you lived, on their planets of origin. Very good. You came here, what for? To live these feelings, to, as you often say, Feel firsthand what it is like to live in the third dimension, what it's like to resonate with all these low vibrational feelings, what is suffering. But today, due to the energies that are arriving, those high vibrational feelings that you once had, are starting to vibrate inside, they are moving, and you saw this as an opportunity to return to what you once were, evolved. You are tired of this whole round of reincarnations, which has led you nowhere. So you are seeing at this moment, the hope of returning to what you once were, and with a whole range of learning, that I am sure none of you will resonate with anything that you experienced here. Observe throughout your history, those people who were important in each era, who made a name for themselves, who left history, who left teachings. They would be those super-evolved souls who did not let themselves be carried away by this entire process, and who remained on the wheel of reincarnation, just to help those who were here. So realize that there is a balance, despite the planet resonating in the third dimension due to the shielding that was done, there has always been a balance between good and evil. Beings that resonate love, resonate good have always existed, they have always been martyrs, they have always been those who made history, and who managed to gather many people around them. We will have several examples to cite throughout the ages. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to start talking about some of these characters, who lived here in your time, or rather that you know the story, because none of you lived in that time. Let's start moving through times that you know, through times that you have known throughout history. Very good. So there you have it. Think about everything I said today. Before ending this video, Many have asked about my position regarding the 11 or 11 portal meditation. I'm not going to do any meditation. Why? Because there are sources and channels fully prepared for this, and they are already doing a great job. I'm not going to feel the need to create my own meditation here, 
just because it has to be my meditation. No. You will have nothing here from me for that day. I just say to you, the eleven or eleven portal is real, this meditation that is being asked to be done, and for you to have silver in your hands, is true. I'm just going to say this. So follow those channels, which everyone knows are trustworthy, that you already resonate with them. Everyone follow their own path. Know how to choose the path to follow. Here I will not put anything. I'm just saying that it will be a big step in this whole process, for sure. This is not done as a... Ah, let's do a ritual, no, this has a purpose, and a very serious purpose. So, look for the channels you really trust and do this meditation. Participate. If you can't afford anything silver, that's fine, but I would suggest that you have something silver on hand, as simple as it is, because you're not seeing value, you're seeing each person's intention. So let you find the minimum of silver to have in your hands. It will be very interesting for each of you. I am Archangel Michael. I am here, ready to help you continue on this journey, showing you the truth and what really happened throughout these eras.